Oh, this should be quite the matchup. Quite the matchup. It's double base day, the series where we take two whiskeys, put them head to head to break down the differences and similarities they may have. We are putting two great available bourbons head to head against each other uh, with Old Granddad 114 and Old Forester 1920. I feel like I have an idea of who's going to win just based on my palate and what I like, but let's see who actually does win head to head on double base. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome to another Double Bass episode. Before we dive into the comparison, let's learn more about what's in each of these bottles and as always, if you have any comparison suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. First up is Old Grandad 114. It's the high proof, high rye, budget hitter that everyone knows and loves. Throughout 2016, it was believed Jim Beam was going to discontinue Old Grandad 114. In February 2017, Beam changed their mind and we started seeing more of it available. It's bottled at 114 proof with a mash bill of 63% corn, 27% rye, good, uh, good amount of rye in that mash bill, and 10% malted barley to round it all out. Retails for the great price of about 26 to 30 bucks. Its opponent is Old Forester 1920 Prohibition Style. It's the third expression in the Old Forester Whiskey Row series, and arguably the darling of the series as well. Everyone seems to love Old Forester 1920. During Prohibition, only six Kentucky distilleries were granted permits to bottle bourbon for medicinal purposes, including Brown Foreman. So to match the usual barrel proof of that bourbon after maturation during Prohibition, this is bottled at 115 proof. It's got a mash bill of 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley. Again, pretty readily available. Price for this one though, about double the price at about 60 bucks. All right, so I'm gonna mix these up a little bit, play a little glass hopscotch with it. <laughs> Uh, as usual, I'll be blinding these, tasting these blind. Uh, I'll be judging on nose, palate, and finish and see which one comes out on top here. Now, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, I would think. So what I'm thinking is that probably Old Forest from 1920 should win. But man, Old Granddad, I've seen Old Granddad 114 take down some pretty big hitters that are way, way above its price point. So let's see what happens today. First, uh, first class, here we go. Oh, delicious nose on this one already. You get all the high rye. Now, the Old Forester 1920, remember, has 18% rye, while the Old Grandad has 27. So, Old Grandad definitely has more, but they're both considered, you know, good high rye mash pills. Mm, good amount of sweetness here. Little chocolate, little cherry. Man, that thing is high potent. Little citrus, too. Got a slight wave of oak on this one. Remember, both of these are NAS. There's no age statement. So, you know, I'm thinking there's not too old a whiskey in both of these. If I had to guess, though, I would think it'd be a little bit older in the old granddad, maybe. Just because, you know, Old Forester does usually use younger whiskey. But because of their, their, uh, their heat-cycled warehouses, it could seem older than it actually is. All right, that one has a great nose. Let's go to B and see if there's any big difference here. This one's a little bit more citrus forward. I get more orange spice in here. Cinnamon. Getting a little bit more of the rye spice on this one. I'm getting like orange creamsicle in here though. Arr. Oh man, the nose on, on this one. More of the, some dark fruits in A are coming through. When you go back and forth here, I mean, it's basically like orange cream sickle versus chocolate cherry, kind of what I'm getting, which I kind of expected just based on what I know about those bourbons. But I would say because of the darker and richer flavors, I'm gonna go with the nose on A. All right, let's try uh, A first, here we go. I am really surprised how much chocolate I'm getting on that one. Chocolate cherry. Oak, a lot of spice. Damn. Really nice viscosity on the palate. <laughs> Slight hint of banana there. Maybe that's the old Forester. I don't remember ever getting old uh, banana in old Grandad 114. But man, this is spicy, it's rich. Man, I'm, su I'm just surprised. I don't remember getting this much chocolate in either of them. I remember do getting some chocolate in old Forester 
you know, sometimes, but I don't recall this much. Great finish, carries all the way through, palette, mouth coating, really rich. Again, chocolate cherry, hint of the banana, a lot, a lot of black pepper, some cinnamon there too. I know what you guys are thinking. That's gotta be the old Forester. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Let's try a uh, glass B here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Glass B just brought it. Oh, man. So, Glass B, I'm getting... Man, does that have a lot of cinnamon, a lot of orange spice. This is almost like like Christmassy, almost, with all that spice and that cinnamon and nutmeg, baking spices all day long on this one. Whew. This is one of those that gets even sweeter. I feel like each sip now, the second sip got a lot sweeter than the first sip. More vanilla came out. A little bit of like light, bright caramel, not too dark. Man, but the orange and the citrus spice on here is so potent. Man, next sip for me. Yeah, it's, it just keeps getting sweeter. The orange spice still, is still there. The cinnamon, it's like drinking cinnamon red hots. Nice lingering peppery finish. But remember, this is judging on the palate. And the palate for me on this one, it's not as mouth coating and it's not sticking around as much as letter A here. Yeah, letter A just has all the, the flavors are, are more robust on letter A. They're just more, they're a little bit more sticky to the palate. But man, B's close. I'm gonna give the palate to A as well. Now it's down to finish. Both of these already I could taste have a nice spicy finish. Let's see what we get. Yeah, A has a really beautiful finish. It gets a little bit of a medicinal cherry on the very, very back end of it. Spicy, lingers for a long time. Still going. I'll, I'll wait. Still going. Man, the finish on that is ridiculous. All right, let's go to B. Now B comes off with a very, very similar length of finish. The flavors are different. I don't get the medicinal cherry. I get all cinnamon red hot and I get all, um, uh, you know, a, a, just a huge burst of citrus. A little bit of uh, light tobacco in there too, which I really, really dig. You know, especially if you're, you know, you like cigars like I do. Starting to get a little bit of nuttiness, which might clue me into beam as well. But man, I, I think I got to give the, the finish to A as well. A, I think just lasts longer. You get a little bit more flavor out of it. So nose, finish, and palate are going to go to A. Now I'm guessing that that was the old Forester, and I'm guessing this was the OGD. Let's see if I was right. Nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty. Old Prohibition takes it. Man, it's a hard one to beat, but old granddad, old granddad, even though it lost out in all three phases here, it's it's definitely if you don't want to spend the 60 bucks on an old Forester Prohibition. Man, this old Granddad 114 was so close. It's rich, it's complex, it's got you know the spice, that's got the orange, the citrus. Yeah, is it different than the Prohibition style? Yeah, does the Prohibition style maybe offer a little bit more? If you're on a budget and you're looking for something that's got that high proof point to it, some spice, good viscosity, um, some of like the more orange forward flavors, then Old Granddad 114 for 30 bucks is probably one of if not the best budget you know bourbon on the shelf i think it even surpasses a lot of people talk about evan williams bottle and bond i would take this over evan williams bottle and bond any day of the week uh but obviously old forester 115 still remains my favorite here of the two uh and you can't really argue it people love it for a reason it's damn delicious so with that 
Old Forester Prohibition for the win. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Double Base where we put Old Forester Prohibition versus Old Grandad 114. Hell of a matchup. I think they were a lot closer than I thought they were going to be. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've done these head-to-head -head yet and what your results were. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers. I'm going to have a little bit of Old Forester. Here we go.